Would you do it over again? Would I do it over again? Absolutely. <laughs> Alright man, your failure story. Mm. Set the context for people. You know, it's funny when you think about failures, you know, I think personal failures, think professional failures. I, I think, you know, where, where do I begin? Because, you know, you talk about failures, all these things go through your mind. You know, was my, was my failure that, you know, a behavior plan that I wrote wasn't implemented properly or, or I didn't get it right? Sure, I've, I've had those failures. But I'll tell you, the thing that sticks with me and actually got me to where I am today was, um, I would say it's my, it was my first high-powered job, I guess the best way to put it, where I had this great title. I was making really good money, you know, the, for I guess the first time in my, in my career. I had some people underneath me that were just awesome behaviors. I mean, one of the best I've ever worked with. Uh, the unfortunate piece is, um, I wasn't supported within the organization by, uh, by, the, by the management and ownership. And, you know, you had those power struggles, you had these things that go on. We got to a point where I was just personally and professionally just miserable. But I stuck it out. And why did I stick it out? Because I said, well, I've got all these people underneath me that are just wonderful. But I was, I was killing myself. And I mean, you know, physically and mentally, I mean, it was just every day was, was, uh, every day was, I'd wake up and I would just dread what would, what would bring. Um, and that's after plenty of sleepless nights. Uh, the, the long story short on it is, I, I stayed way too long. I stayed to a point where I, not only got to my breaking point, but, uh, but, but I hit it. And I said, I just, I just need to go. And so, I, I resigned from the organization and ended up taking a job that, you know, an entry level position, a position just for me. First time in my life I was selfish and I got to make sure I get myself right. And you good? Mm -hmm. I know how you operate. Yeah. So like square one in some ways, right? Yeah. So I go right back to square one. So now I'm, you know, the, the, the right the folks I said I was super, that's me. I'm bomb with totem pole. And I'm thinking, you know, what does this do for me professionally? Yeah. But that thought subsided about a week into the new job. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. Yeah. You know, I was putting in a ton of hours with the new job. Work, hard work is not something I'm afraid of. I love yeah. the grind. I love everything. But I was, I felt supported. I felt um, like I can make a difference, make a change. I, I felt like um, that I was in control of whatever I wanted to do work-wise. And it was just an awesome feeling to be able to go back, hit the reset button. That's what I did, hit the reset button, and when went back to it. But I'll tell you what it did for me, though, is because I stayed in that other job way too long, um, my, my management confidence just, just plummeted. And so it took me a, it took me a few years uh, to to build myself back up, which then turned into my biggest success story, um, which my biggest success story was I said uh, I had an opportunity within with another organization to take that leap, take a leap with with uh, with an ownership that um, not only did I did I trust, but their mission, their values were right in line with with mine. And you know the thing that was would you do it over again? Would I do it over again? Absolutely. <laughs> There's no way that I would not make this decision I made, um, even even when I got to the point of the of the of the other job that you know I, I hit my breaking point. I tell you what it, what it allowed me to do was just take a big step back personally, big step back professionally. I made lots of changes in my life, yeah. and I and I grew bigger and stronger than where I think I could never have been. And so when I took the, the, the next leap, the next position within, a, within, a, within an organization that you know, I know, love, and trust, it felt right. It felt good. And more important, I felt supported. And I think that's one of the biggest keys is to not just you know, take a job because it's got a great title or because the money's right, it's support. And, and not only do I feel supported as a as, you know, person professionally, 
but I felt supported as a manager in learning to grow. Mm -hmm. I was able to learn from people that are already doing it right. And that's the most important thing to me. And going back, go back in time and have a conversation with myself, it would, it would be if you're going to take a management position, you're going to take something that where you are overseeing other people, that you're going to learn from a manager who's already done it well, who has already had a proven track record, because that's who we learn from. That's how, that's what we do as behavior analysts. More important, that's, that's what we try and do within business. Um, and so, would I do it all over again? Absolutely. And the, the, the thing that I learned the most was to trust my instincts yeah. and to go with it. Because again, I knew that I needed to go, but I held on too long. And Is that uh, the logo uh, on the back of your shirt? Back of my shirt logo. Uh, I'll tell you what, something we're, we're most proud of in the organization. Um, I'll, I'll turn around in a second, but um, we went through a, a fairly rigorous uh, audit yeah. within uh, within within the state, and uh, proud to say that 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 CBA was was rated one of the top uh, twenty five companies to work in Kentucky, rated by all industries, right? All industries, yeah. all industries, top twenty five small business, and, uh, and and we couldn't be more more proud of it because. The reason why we rated that is because of the employees, yeah. because of the conversations that uh, that the auditors had with them, because of looking at practice, because of looking at missions and values, talking to our to our to our customers, our clients, uh, our, our different contracts, and more important, seeing that as an organization, we are not just within a, a, a small bubble of practice. We're not just a, a center based service. We're center based. We're community based. We work within foster care. We work in state hospitals. We work in school systems. I mean, anywhere that that someone can can uh, find themselves. Anywhere that someone can find themselves needing uh, a behavior analyst, which is most settings, we are we are there. So yeah, we're very proud of very proud of our shirt. Sure it is. This place is work. Congrats, man. Yeah, appreciate it. Hell yeah. yeah. If you're into this, this channel is purely ran by patrons just like Clinical Behavior Analysis. Follow this link and if you can, support. Let's build this community and this message and show the world what behavior analysis can do. Y'all please hold the applause to the end of the ceremony.